crew now has switched to a, a wide angle. 350 kilometers above the Earth, the hatch was opened on a newly assembled station and on a new era of permanent human presence in space. 20 years and $150 billion later, the International Space Station has grown to the size of a football field, circling the world every 91 minutes. This is where we eat. We have a dining table. And with this, we can get hot and cold water and make ourselves something to eat. Scientists from 19 countries have spent time on the ISS. Each day we are learning something new. We find something that breaks in a different way than we expected. Performing experiments that have led to life-saving advances here on Earth, from vaccine development and robotic surgery to air and water purification systems and cancer treatment. The space station, this is the hardest thing we've ever done. I think harder than going to the moon. And it is really a testament of the fact that if we put our minds to something, if we listen to the experts, if we uh, work together as a team, we can accomplish some incredible things. All up, astronaut Scott Kelly has spent nearly 500 days on board, including a 340-day mission with Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Kuryenko to better understand how the human body copes with long stints in space. The program has also shown what nations can accomplish together, even while squabbling back on Earth. You know, sometimes when I'm at events and our earthly politics come up, I say that we should send all our presidents to the ISS for at least a month. They'll learn how to cooperate and all our problems down here on Earth can be solved in this way. As its 2024 retirement looms, so too do business opportunities. Tourists are expected late next year after hitching a ride on a commercial SpaceX rocket. We have Bob Behnken from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Another private company, Axiom, plans to attach a module to the ISS, which would eventually break off and grow into the first commercial space station. And as nations again look to the moon and onward to Mars, the experiences aboard the ISS over the past 20 years will prove invaluable, preparing women and men for the more grueling journeys ahead. It's not just like a business trip to another city or country where you feel nostalgia, but it's the absence of the Earth itself. It's difficult psychologically, and the next generation who fly to Mars need to confront this. But it'll be even tougher for them, because they won't even see the Earth out of their window. We could at least see the Earth from our window. It is the most audacious thing we've built so far. Proving almost anything is possible when we put our minds to it. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.